Hey, hey, Tony guys is here popping in. I'm at soccer practice and uh, hopefully I can shoot a little video. Been been real, real busy. Now, here's something I, was, I saw today and my sister sent me a video and it was this guy. And it's the second one like this that I have seen. <laughs> Man, these things get good. Now, these things get good. So, ladies, if you are not married, it, but you are dating a man or you gonna be dating a man or you in a relationship listen to this video listen to this video now <laughs> listen here because listen here these things getting good listen to this video okay ladies <laughs> this is the one thing that a man cannot handle you hear me you already know the answer. You already know, especially if you subscribe to my YouTube, then hit that button. You already know the answer. The one thing a man cannot handle is a woman cheating on him. Listen to me. Now, this is what I can say. I am glad that the two young men I seen handle it the way they handle it i'm glad they handled it that way because there are men every week on the news taking the life of a woman because the woman got caught cheating see this is the difference this is the difference women try to say all the time women try to say uh if a man could do it a woman can do it no you cannot listen yeah you could do it you could do it but men and women are not built the same men and women are not built the same how many women you know on her own cognizance goes hunting killing deer antelope turkeys for fun how many women you know you might know one or two and i guarantee you the one or two you know they daddy they a daddy's girl i guarantee it listen men and women are not built the same lady let me tell you stop behaving like a immature grown boy Women telling themselves, oh, the man could do it, I could do it. Oh, two could play that game. No. This is a zero-sum game when you play this game with a man. The best thing you could do, if a man cheat on you, or even if he don't cheat on you, but when you feel like cheating, the best thing you could do, I'm talking about sleeping with another man, the best thing you could do is leave. Because you going to lose your life. Or you going to be embarrassed to high heaven. So this is what the man did in the video. The man the man get on one knee. The man got his homeboy singing. And the homeboy singing, Love, so many things I got to tell you. And the lady, she like, Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then the song switch. Cause you a liar, you a cheater, you sleazy, you dog, you this, you that. And she was like, really? Really? <laughs> the man was on one knee. The man got up off that knee and hit her with the bird. See, I don't shoot no bird, them a rain finger. And hit her with the bird. She was like, really? Really? She kept on recording it. And the the video on the video it said when a man found out his woman was cheating. They got a grand finale. They got everybody watching. And now the other one now, the other one was worse than that one. Because the other one, the man was in public, like outside. And I think a harp was playing or a guitar was playing. 
and the man got on one knee. Everybody was watching. The lady went to doing this, and you know how women be doing doing this, screaming. The lady went to doing this. That man opened that that rainbow and he yeet <laughs> hit her with the bird. Now this this my rain finger now. I'm saved. I don't shoot birds. Hit her with the bird. I say, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, you liar, you cheater. You sleazy. I'm making up words. It ain't say that. But listen to me. That's the one thing a man can't handle. So I'm going to tell you like this right here, ladies. Women, nine out of ten women, when they catch a man cheating, they cry. They scream. They call the other woman. They go off on the man. They call their best friend crying. Nine out of ten women, that's how women handle cheating. When a man get cheated on, listen, you will wish you were dead. You would have wished you were dead instead of if you don't end up dead. So listen, I'm saying this like this now. I ain't saying it all slow and serious and all of that. I'm saying it like this, but listen, I mean it. Listen, I mean it. I'm serious. I'm telling you like this right here. Yes, it's a double standard. Oh, well, why don't you tell the men to stop cheating? Well, why don't you tell your son to stop talking in class? That's the same reason that I tell a man and don't tell a man stop cheating because it ain't going to work. Why don't you tell your man to marry you? That's the same reason I don't waste my breath. Because we know men. And guess what? We ain't going to change men because men, God made men. When it comes to relationships, God made most of us. Not all of us. God made most of us dumb as a box of rocks. Stubborn as a bull. A man learn from consequences, not from talking heads on YouTube. Men will watch the video now. You know the men who gonna change? The ones who love their mama or the ones who woman done left them. That's typically the two type of men that's gonna change from a man giving relationship advice online. That's typically the two type of men that's gonna change. A man who got respect for women because he loved his mama. And a man who woman done left him and he trying to get her back. That right there is pretty much about it. And I want you to understand that. So listen to me. Ladies, if you cheat, you better cut it out now. You better cut it out now. And yes, the same thing could go for fellas. But it's just, it don't happen often enough. It don't happen often enough. Like, I watch Snapped. I watch Snapped. I watch Dateline. I watch all of these shows where, because of my wife, where it be killing. And I cannot really think of one or two shows where the woman took the life of a man for cheating. Now, I just watched one where an uh, older a older white lady took the life of her husband. Now, fortunately and unfortunately, okay, fortunately and unfortunately, most of these cases be white. So that, I mean, we need something now as black people. White people that watch this, don't get mad. Don't get mad because we got plenty of us on the news. So, Y'all just, at least y'all can have that dateline. And Jeffrey Dahmer and Ted Bundy. At least y'all can have all of that right there now. Because we have our fast shower, so y'all need to be okay with y'all fast shower. But listen, I'm going to tell you, y'all brothers, y'all men be trying to get your white ones. These white women taking lives. Do you hear me? The, the lady who told me I could share her story, who is being harassed, because a guy came to her and disturbed her peace and she thought the guy was single, amazing, and perfect. And come to find out this brother 
had been stringing along a white woman. This sister had 243 block calls. When the phone company, AT&T, scanned the lady phone because of the police, she went to the police, 198 of the calls was from that lady. Listen, from me watching Snap and Dateline, I had to tell the sister, listen, the white woman, the white woman killed by they man now. The white women will kill by they man. Listen. Listen now. That's when we see it right there. But one thing about it, it don't matter the color of a man now. He could be purple, green, yellow, black, white. A man gonna take him a life by that cheating. He gonna take him a life or he gonna ruin a life. If 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 that man, if you stay around with that man, you're going to wish you was with the Lord. Or with the devil one, you might wish you was with the devil. In eternity, because that's how miserable your life going to be. Because that's one thing men are not wired to handle. And the reason why is because God created a woman to love a man. He created Eve solely for Adam. He did not, solely for Adam, he did not say, Eve, you finna run the trees and Adam gonna, uh, gonna cut the grass. He didn't say, Eve, you got domain over the seas and Adam got domain over the land. He said, this woman is a help meet to this man. So a man expects and anticipates and hopes and believes that a woman is faithful. That a woman is, and and the and it's sad that it's that way because women, on average today, don't expect a man to be faithful, don't anticipate for a man to be faithful. On average today, women not doing it. On average today, women are expecting men to cheat, and a lot of women have made concessions for cheating. A lot of women have said cheating is okay. Like you could cheat, go on cheat, and I do your thing. Do your thing. Go on, cheat. And so when you look at it, it's like, whoa, okay. Man. Now, see, I wouldn't want to cheat because I wouldn't want to defile my spirit against God. But on the fleshly side, it'd be like, well, baby, can I do my little cheating? But I'm going to tell you what. I done been faithful for so long, I ain't even got a, a thrill or a desire to cheat. I ain't got the energy. I ain't got the strokes in me. Now, listen, I got enough for one woman. And and I about only got and I about got enough for once a week for her. I ain't got no extra energy. I'm gonna tell you that now. Nah. It's like a woman can't even waste her time with me. Cause I'll be snoring. I ain't got no energy. But it's me and out here. Because, see, listen, I don't drink Red Bull. It's me out here drink Red Bull, Percocet, Molly, Hennessy. I don't have all the oil in my system to be doing all that. But I'm going to tell you what. When a woman do it back to a man, it just ain't, it's, it's just, it just is not good. It is not good. And any woman who never cheated on a man, can attest to this in the comments. Tell your story. How that man ran you through the took you through the wrangle. After you had them forgave him for what he did. You had them got past it. And then when you messed around and did it, man, look y'all. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't understand, but that might be another video where we're gonna talk about why are women cheating today. And I want y'all to tell me. I know it's well, we already know. We already know it's and no different than asking why men cheat because but most of the time when i see women cheating it's because of betrayal it's because they feel abandoned they feel isolated they feel alone the only time i see a, a woman cheat when she been treated amazingly is when she with look ugly when she with a man that she considers look ugly 
that's when I see a woman cheat because she won't something other than what she got. But even with that, the typical typically when you see that, it's because of the woman's loose past. Like a woman who ain't who hasn't been loose, loose as a goose, she'll be with a man that is uh unattractive to her or to the world and be faithful to him. But it's typically a woman who was turned out at a young age and violated. And we're gonna talk about it in another video. But we got to we got to we got to deal with these things. So hey, y'all y'all realize and understand. And now what my videos or what I'm gonna try to do is have my videos up by noon. Because over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna be real busy. I'm gonna try to put up a video at noon Eastern. I'm gonna try. If it's not there noon Eastern, then check back to Eastern and about 9 p.m. Eastern. But I'm going to try to have it up by noon Eastern, Lord willing. So, hey, God bless you. Watch this three more times. Get this in your spirit. Just leave. Just leave. And, yes, this is directed to women, but this could be inverted. But, honestly, it's not going to be inverted because men just are not men just are not as afraid of a woman cheating as women are of men cheating but i'm telling you if a man if you want to cheat lee and i'm saying that for the oh it go both way i'm saying that for that crowd i'm saying it for the do a video to the men telling them not to cheat i'm gonna do a video to the men telling them not to cheat. And I'm going to talk serious. I'm going to talk serious. That's the next video I'm finna shoot. I'm finna spring off some videos. Hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon.